Today I'm going to talk to you guys about something I call the Fusha slash Amiyi hybrid or the MSA slash colloquial dialect hybrid. If you don't know the difference between MSA and dialect, make sure to check out the pre mini course. We talk about all these things in different types of Arabic. So what exactly is this hybrid? This is, as the name suggests, suggests a combination of Fusha and Amiyi. And we typically use this combination during formal settings that are not super formal. So think of like semi-formal settings, okay? And an example of this would be an interview with an artist, with an actor on TV, like we're about to see, interview with uh, Marcel Khalifa, a uh, famous Lebanese artist, musician. And so, you know, there's a bit of formal setting, but it's not too formal. Where you would use MSA only, think about news broadcasts, think about news reporting, think about those news debates that you see, you know, political debates that you see on the news uh, about a specific topic, interviews with politicians or diplomats, official speeches, like a political speech or a UN speech, something like that. This would be just in MSA. And of course, uh, Khutbat al Juma, uh, Friday prayer sermon would be in Fusha as well. Other than that, you kind of have flexibility to use a combination of Fusha and Ami. Tamam? And even, even like in business settings, if you're presenting, you can use Fusha, you would use Fusha, but still there's a lot of Ami. Like you, when there's Q&A, you can switch to, to dialect. Even when you're presenting, if there's not so much, maybe the lingo or the terminology you say in Fusha, but if you're explaining something, a lot of people tend to use a combination of both Fusha and Ami, tamam? So I'm gonna give you guys a few examples of what I mean in uh, this video. And we're not gonna watch the whole thing, we're just gonna you know, play some clips and then explain what they're saying and then if it's Fusha or Ami. Okay, so this is from Ru'ya TV. I'm gonna leave the link in the bio for you guys or in the description if you wanna check it out. Uh, Ru'ya TV is an excellent resource if you're learning the Palestinian Jordanian dialect and a Lebanese time dialect, but particularly, particularly these accents. Or dialects and yeah and there's a lot of you know there's a lot of things and kind of categories there's uh, tv there's drama there's news you can check it out i'll leave the link okay let's get into the video tamam so again it's an interview with marcel khalifa um, a lebanese artist and yeah, a musician and he plays the oud as well and a lot of his work has been uh, has been inspired by the famous palestinian poet mahmoud darwish كبير نستقبل المفكر الموسيقي والصوت الكبير مارسيل خليفة أهلا وسهلا تمام pretty much نفوس حال نستقبل فرح كبير نستقبل المفكر الموسيقي والصوت نستقبل المفكر الموسيقي والصوت الكبير خليفة أهلا وسهلا تمام أهلا وسهلا نقرأ forward little bit saying hello صباح الخير استاذ مرسل خليفه اهلا وسهلا بك صباح الخير استاذ مرسي استاذ استاذ صباح الخير استاذ مرسل خليفه اهلا وسهلا بك اهلا وسهلا بك يا دنيا وهذه المره استديوهاتنا باستديوهات رؤيا ولازم اقول لك قديش لازم اقول لك pay attention to what you just said لازم اقول لك so everything before this اهلا وسهلا بك pretty much was happened then when she said لازم اقول لك لازم is very much used in عاميه Arabic not فصحى and or other ways to express this. But Lazim Aulak, that's that's Ami. Tamam. So that's the first instance of switching. Lazim Aulak, I have to tell you. Adish Ahna. How much we are. Adish Ahna. Mahdoudin. So she pronounced it the Fusha way. Mahdoudin. Lucky. So Lazim Aulak, I have to tell you. Adish Ahna. How much we are lucky. نحن فعلا محظوظين ونتشرف بأن نلتقي بك So محظوظ, lucky, محظوظين the plural However, in عامية, we could pronounce the ذا as a heavy ذا sound So you could say محظوظ, you might hear this a lot Instead of the ذا, محظوظ, you would hear ذا, محظوظ Okay, محظوظين But she pronounced it, محظوظ, proper لو لازم أقول لك قديش إحنا but the last one was Amiya, so there's that hybrid. So shukran al istidafi. So kulu shukran sabah nur ahlan fikum welcome. So shukran al istidafi. Shukran al 
الدفء والحنان في العزف شكرا لك شكرا لك اوكي الله ثانك يو خلينا نسمع بوقت اهلا وسهلا اهلا وسهلا صباح صباح اذا قبل ما نبدا معك بال... قبل ما نبدا معك شنو الشيء اللي نسيت قبل قبل ويين فصحى فصحى برونسيشن قبل ما نبدا معك شو سم ذا ووردز ساوند اهميه سم ذا ووردز فصحى قبل ما نبدا معك كان لنا شرف بان نلتقي بك وي هاف ذا اونر اوف ميتنج وذ يو من خلال تقرير مسجل اثناء واحده من حفلاتك في الاردن قبل ست اشهر وقدمت لنا وعد قدمت لنا وعد يو 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 ميد اس بروميس هذا الوعد ننقدمه وعد از بروميس وعد وكيف عندما يوعد الانسان يوفي بالوعد الذي تمام سو از غانا توك ا بيت هير I'm just going to skip back to the interview. يعني أو وعد ووفق. قال أنا بسأل عنكم وأنا بجيكم وفعلاً. قال أنا بجيكم وفعلاً. He said, I will, I will come to you guys and actually he did. أهلاً وسهلاً أستاذ مارسيل. أستاذ مارسيل. أهلاً وسهلاً أستاذ مارسيل. North pronunciation of أستاذ here he said أستاذ in عامية again. Some of the letters change in عامية. So like we talked about with the word محظوظ. can become mahzuz here the word ustad can be ustaz the harf al can be azai pronounced ustaz okay this is good to know because if you're yeah and you're studying msa and you never heard some of these words you're not going to have familiarity or you might be wondering like why people mispronouncing these words not necessarily mispronouncing but it's the some of the letters in amiya get pronounced differently tamam so this is important to know and Vice versa, if you're just studying dialect but you've never been exposed to Fusha, it's good to have a bit of exposure to that, to Fusha as well, so that when you hear a word, you're like, oh, okay, this is this is the pronunciation of it in Fusha. Or the, yani, the actual pronunciation is Fusha, and then dialect, things change a little bit. The, uh, be... I'm going to forward a little bit to when Lustad Marcel is going to say. So they're talking about an award, the Jaiza. Jaiza, in the truth, is a recognition from the Mahmoud Mahmoud Darwish. Jaiza is a recognition from the Mahmoud Mahmoud Darwish. So again, like I said, his work uh, is is very much, يعني, inspired and influenced by the famous Palestinian poet Mahmoud Darwish. So he's being presented a um, an award from Mahmoud Darwish's foundation. Mahmoud Darwish is no longer alive, um, but he um, Marcel Khalifa is receiving. A gift from Mahmoud Darwish's um, foundation. Tamam. But if you guys want to read more about this, come on, uh, just to know, I mean, it's good to know kind of uh, famous artists, famous poets in the Arab world as well. I received this information or this news, uh, this piece of news. He's using um fusha here هذا any time you hear هذا هذه that's fusha هذا هذه in Palestinian and Jordanian uh, dialect هذا هذه there's other ways that these are said but we'll stick to the very يعني, the, the common ones the urban dialects هذا uh, هذه فهي said هذا تلقيت هذا الخبر بحب تلقيت هذا الخبر وبحب اكبر كمان انه ساستلمها في الحفله في ساستلمها في الحفله ساستلم يعني كمان ذا سا سا از a future indicator like ح or رح in عاميه so سا like سوف اوكي ويل ساستلمها I will receive it في المدرج الروماني في عمان السبت وبالنسبه ل الشاعر الكبير محمود درويش بالنسبه للشاعر الكبير محمود درويش as for بالنسبه ل very good Uh, phrase to know or very good kind of yeah um, combination of two words as for as for and then if anybody's new with Arabic and you have to be watching this notice the use of filler words like يعني, uh, notice يعني, the, the grand or the great poet Mahmoud Darwish Mahmoud Darwish يعني, يعني أه. كان لقائي مع نصه او مع شعره عمل تحول في 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 مشروعي تمام اجري فورورد ليل بيت 
درويش ولم اكن اعرف محمود درويش هون لم اكن اعرف باك ذن اي دينت نو محمود درويش لم اكن اعرف محمود درويش فصحى هي اوكي فيرسز ما كنت اعرف مثلا فيرسز لم اكن اعرف وبدات بدي اتسلم فبدات لا بدي اتسلم بدي زعمي بدي زعمي بدي اي وونت تو بدي اتسلم اي وونت تو وونت تو هاف فان قلعته ما عندنا يعني ما فينا نخرج اللي اسمه ما عندنا ما فينا ذيز اول عامية وي وي دونت هاف ما عندنا ما فينا وي نوت ايبل تو لاسباب كثيرة لاسباب كثيرة فور ماني ريزنز فكنت اخذ نص وكنت عم بتسلى عم بلعب ما كنت عم بتسلى عم بلعب اي واز بلاينغ اراوند اي واز هافينغ جود تايم كنت عارف انه هذا اللعب رح يوصلني لعندكم اليوم يعني yeah, he was he was kind of like having fun with uh, with the work he was doing but he didn't know it, it will يعني رح توصله it will make him reach where he is today but here he's saying رح رح توصلني عندكم اليوم it will it will help me get to you guys today يعني being interviewed and, and being famous and all that وانتشرت هذه الأعمال يعني انتشرت هذه الأعمال so you can I'm I, يعني I'm stopping it and playing it But mostly for you guys to see how he's using Fusha and how he's using Amiya at the same time. A few statements would be in Fusha, a few statements would be in Amiya. Um, just wanted to kind of point this out, this hybrid of Amiya and Fusha. Why this is important? Some of you guys only study MSA and don't have exposure to dialect. It's important to know some dialect because you want to converse with people at a certain point, right? And for those that are only studying dialect but not studying MSA, it's also important to know a bit of MSA in your journey so that when you're in some sort of formal setting, you can use some of those MSA expressions or slightly more formal expressions, whether you're in a, a meeting or you're interviewing someone or anything required for your work that, uh, yeah, that anything for your work that requires you to use a little bit more formal words, it's good to know some MSA. So that's why I kind of wanted to point out to you guys that We're not always just using MSA and we're not always just using dialect. Dialect, of course, just in, yeah, we use it all the time in, in day to day scenarios, but there's unique settings like this where it's semi formal. It's not super formal and it's not super casual, but it's, you know, it, it's a it's TV interview, but it's not like a super serious thing. It's not a political debate. It's not an official speech. It's not an official speech, right? It's a, it's, it's a nice, it's a light ambiance, okay? And this can be similar to your work meetings. For example, you have a meeting, you have a presentation, you want it to be like super fusha and, and like a, just a speech. And it's, you want there to be like some sort of back and forth, Q&A. You want um, uh, the attendees to, to participate, to engage, right? So uh, that was the video for today. Let me know if you guys have any questions. What kind of Arabic are you guys studying? Most of the people we've been dealing with so far are mostly dialect, right? Particularly the Palestinian, Jordanian dialect. But let me know what Arabic you're learning. If you're learning MSA, let me know in the comments. If you're learning a different type of Arabic other than Palestinian, Jordanian, also let me know. And if you know both, come on, give yourself a thumbs up in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.